Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about a QR code generator on an e-ink display that automatically logs you into your Wi-Fi home network. Um, in a previous video I talked about embedding this e-ink display here uh, into a Raspberry Pi B case. Today I'm going to actually go through the steps and show you how to um, generate a QR code that when scanned with your iPhone it would detect the SSID, the encryption method, and your password, and it would automatically log you in to your Wi-Fi network. Uh, this would be good for a lot of reasons. Uh, you could have revolving passwords if you needed to. Uh, you wouldn't forget it because this doesn't require power. So, uh, if this is um, unplugged for any length of time or, or if something happens, this would stay the same. So I just thought it'd be a really good idea. The screen is extremely clear, so it's really easy to scan. Um, we'll go th to the terminal and we'll set it up. Okay, so we're at the screen. Um, I just thought I'd show you the uh, the manufacturer first. It's Embedded Artists, um, and to get to the e-paper display, it actually uh, products displays and then 2.7 inch e-paper display. And then once you're there, um, they actually have their GitHub repository information on that page. Uh, and we'll use a demo file. And the demo file uh, from their GitHub page is called imagedemo.py. And that's going to help us write to the display and use the file that we're going to generate. So um, we're going to also use an application called QR Encode. And that's going to generate the QR code to a... Um, a um, encapsulated postscript vector graphics file or EPS file so we didn't do a sudo app get install QR encode and then we would take QR encode and tell it to make a EPS file and this would be its name of the file so it'd be Wi-Fi hyphen code test dot EPS now you can change that obviously to whatever name you want to call it and then Wi-Fi SSID of your Wi-Fi LAN would actually be the name of the SSID of your Wi-Fi. And then the WPA, which would be your encryption method, and then your pass uh, WPA2 key is your encryption key that you'd need to get into the, to the network. So after that, this has been placed into a bash script or into a... Um, uh, Python file, you'd want to um, run the demo, image demo.py, um, and is what this would do is this would write it to the display. Um, for step four, just so that you, you can see this, uh, in step four we would open cron tab and we'd do a scheduled task. In here uh, I have two scheduled tasks. One of them uh, is QR encode. So I would generate the, um, the SSID information that I'd want. And um, here, I would in, this is for one month, by the way. And then this is for one month and five minutes. So uh, five, one month and five minutes, I'd uh, write it to the display. So one month, I would create a QR encode.py. Um, and that would basically generate the information that I need to or create the graphics file and then one month and five minutes I'd actually write it to the display so I give it plenty of time to make sure that I, I created my image successfully it's really fast anyway uh, but I just give it an extreme amount of time and um, because it's only going to happen every 30, 30 days this isn't a fast uh, process right so every 30 days we'd write to that display and then um, there you go. Uh, now, if you'd want to set like a countdown timer as to when that when the on the, the display, uh, leave a comment below. Let me know how you did it. Um, if you want to um, actually pull the information uh, from the the router or something like that via SSH, uh, leave a comment below. Let me know how you did it. Um, well, that's all I have. You guys have a good day. Make sure you check out my other videos uh, where I make a uh, e-paper display embedded in a Raspberry Pi case. Also check out my Facebook group, uh, Linux Development Boards. You guys have a good one. Take care.